Hello, how are you doing? So I just turned on my phone right now and it's like, there's all these notifications. So sorry about all the ding, 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 ding. Anyway, hello everyone, how are you? I'm gonna talk about the vibration of uh, gratitude. What I do personally in the morning is, um, right before I even open up my eyes, I thank God. You know, of course, this is in my perception and my experience. I uh, I thank God for everything. I thank Him for the night, for the health I have, um, for for life, another day in this world. And um, as I wake up, I start my day by thanking God for all that I have, even the small details, even the small details. And what this does. You know, it could be like a mental gratitude list. It raises my vibration. And the vibration of gratitude is actually higher than the vibration of love. It It's going to raise you to a vibration of, I have enough. I am prosperous. I am abundant. I am enough. I am loved. I am protected. And you go on throughout the day just looking around you and... Seeing how blessed we are. I'm, um, I live in the United States and I know that, you know, we have, um, more choices and options than most people in the world. And that right there is a blessing. You know, I know that, that I'm like, okay, do I want a hamburger today or do I want a chicken sandwich? And there's people in this world that don't even have that choice. I mean, anything, you know, I want a Coke, I want a Diet Coke. Where it's like, oh, no, I don't want to eat that because, you know, it's it's um, it's so fattening for me and this and that. But then there's people in this world that don't even have that, you know. And just to see everything that we have around us, everything that we are blessed with, and we express gratitude to God. And in my channel, I believe in God, you know, if you don't. That's okay. That's your prerogative, of course. But I do believe in God, a creator of the universe. And I express my gratitude to God. You know, um, before I eat, during when I eat, I'm always, you know, th saying grace, thanking, thanking, thanking him for everything, for, for, for the food I have in front of me, for the clothes I have on me. And it's like, I'll go on through the day just like, thank you for the... Thank you for the beautiful sunsets. Thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you. And it raises my vibration. And when your vibration is raised, there's less room for negative thoughts that are okay to have. Because we all have, you know, there's, there's, there's such a... A frequency, especially right now with everything that is sort of like changing in this world from an oppressive society, what we were taught as oppressive, um, and now everything's coming to light. Everything is coming to light so we can experience a different type of consciousness. And so there will feel or... Think thoughts that might not be ours, but they're such a high frequency that we pick them up. So by being grateful throughout the day and working constantly on responding and not reacting to situations, which is challenging, even if you're the best, you know, it's like one of these things, it's like throughout the day, it doesn't leave room for the negative thoughts. See, oh, poor me. I don't have enough, even if you do, you know, it's like, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. And then we start thinking about that, you know, it's like we get bored and we go online shopping. And of course, we need the red sweater or the yellow sweater. Oh my God, don't forget about the blue sweater. And it's like, want, 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 want. But wanting all this keeps us on a low vibration of a wanting of a beggar. You know, in this world, um, in our in, in many perceptions, there's people that are, you know, um, very, very poor, 
they don't have uh, the the things that others might have, the um, the blessings. And I wouldn't say the blessings. I would say more like, you know, the material things. Because they're all material things. They come and go. They can come and go, you know. One day you're rich and one day you don't have anything. Um, especially nowadays with Mother Nature just uh, throwing a fit of what we've done to her for the last thousand of years. So, you know, we see these people, they live in, in, in poor countries and they're super happy. They're smiling, they're laughing. And a lot of that is due because they're grateful. They're grateful for another day. Uh, they're grateful for, for the little things. And so if we take that example and use it in our lives, you know, we could be happy. I mean, seriously, we're so blessed with so many things, so many things. It's a constant moment by moment by moment of seeing what we're surrounded with. And that keeps our vibrational levels high. And I know depression is a big issue right now. Anxiety is a big issue. And we all go through it. Our bodies are changing. Our, our consciousness is changing. And that takes a toll on our bodies, on our consciousness, on everything. So, you know, you want to sleep late. That's okay. But say, hey, thank you. I have a bed. Some people don't even have beds to sleep on. You know, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. And... And it's always wonderful to say thank you. You know, um, I love acknowledging God. I love acknowledging our creator. And whatever your viewpoint is on it, it's, it's your viewpoint. That's a fine. Um, in an esoteric sense of way, I believe that um, acknowledging the creator and God as a power of manifesting our thoughts into reality is very important. I know some people are like, no, there's no God, there's no God. And and there's sort of a sadness to that, in my perception. You know, there's a sadness to that almost because they have no fountain to go to and drink of when they need to refresh themselves from what's going on around them. So just remember to be grateful, keep the vibration high, Say thank you. Um, one of the examples I like to say is like, you know, you're a child. You have some parents that are raising you. And there's two childs. Okay, there's, there's two children. Excuse my Guatemalasness comes out. <laughs> my first language was Spanish. So it's like I sometimes uh, the, the, the Spanish comes out. Um, so there's two children. One of them says thank you all the time. The other one just takes, 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 takes. Now, normally, you know, in whatever perception we are, the parents will love both of them. But if you think about it, don't you think that they would appreciate the child more that says thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And be giving more to this child because this child is expressing this, this gratitude all of the time. Whereas the other one who just takes, 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 cries, 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 is more of a burden to the parent. And of course, the child is loved, but which one's going to be the most favorite? Now, as an example, we're all God's favorite children, of course. We're all, his, we're all children of the universe. God. The universe. So... We're always saying thank you. Uh, who, who's, who's, who will get the most blessings, you think? The child that doesn't say thank you, that takes, 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 that's always self-entitled, or the one that's like, thank you so much, heartfelt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when we become humble, and knowing that we have so many beautiful things and we say thank you so much because, you know, maybe, you know, there's the thing about like being haughty, right? And we say, well, I deserve those things and blah, blah, blah. 
you know, which gives us a whole different vibration because that is down on the lower vibration. But we're like, oh my God, thank you so much. Even if you worked hard for it, right? Even if you worked hard for it, but you're like, thank you. Thank you for the energies. Thank you for the health that I was able to work on these goals and accomplishing them. You know, I mean, you had a certain type of health to get to a certain goal to accomplish what you have, whether it be material, physical, spiritual, um, psychological. I'm talking about healing and trauma and abuse, you know. What's a drive? What drove us? Well, you know, there's that energy that drove us to accomplish those goals, to accomplish that healing. And it's gone. And we have to, you know, just say thank you. So... Keep that vibration high, you know, thanking, thanking God for everything we have, being grateful, being grateful. And yeah, there's all kinds of shit going on in this world, tons of stuff going on. You know, the turmoil, Mother Nature's pissed off because, you know, we've, we've, we've really effed a lot of things in this world, on this, on, on our home, in our home, you know, so... We spill sugar all over. Well, of course the ants are going to come out and 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 then we're going to be like, oh, these ants. No, 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 no. It's because we spill the sugar. So there's a lot of things going on. Everything like that. Just keep yourself centered. Keep present every moment and be grateful. And if you forget, try again. And if you forget, try again. And um, remember, you are enough, you are beautiful, you are loved, you are protected. God is with you. God is with you. God is with you. And have a fabulous day, okay? Love you guys. Bye.